Welcome to the web series, Exploring 9-11, The World Before and After, a production of the National September 11th Memorial and Museum. I'm Clifford Channon, Senior Program Advisor at the Museum. My guest today is Nilifer Gole, a Professor of Sociology and Director of Studies at the Graduate School of Social Sciences in Paris. She is also uh, a Turkish sociologist with a long history of research in Turkey and the Middle East, issues of modernization, women and veiling, and how modernity and tradition interact in Turkey and other countries of the Middle East and now in Europe. Nilifer, welcome. Uh, this question of Turkey as kind of the centerpiece for debates about Muslim traditions, how they've been transformed, how modern, how the modern world looks in, a, in, a, in an Islamic context. All of this has been central to Turkey's 20th century history and I think it's one of the reasons that so many people are looking to Turkey as a modern example of how you take these tensions between the past and the future and make them work. Yes, indeed, Turkey is an interesting case which the meaning of which goes beyond the Turkish um, nation-state uh, experience, I would say. It has an impact on different countries, first on Muslim countries and uh, also today in relation to Europe, I think, how Europe is going to come to terms or how it will define its future in relation to a uh, Muslim uh, minority migrant issue or as a European candidate, as a Turkey is a European uh, a member for, I mean, a candidate for European Union. So um, I think we have to maybe also keep in mind today that Turkey is, as a Muslim majority country only uh, country uh, as a candidate to European Union. That had a long history uh, because of the modernization attempts in Turkey and which was um, maybe uh, understood best by Atatürk, the founder of the Turkish Republic in 1923. We often speak about Kemalist reforms, I will come to that, or Atatürk reforms more precisely. Let me ask you to pause right there though because uh, to take it back to the beginning of, of this question of modern Turkey as a republic, uh, 1923 is when the formal end of the Ottoman Empire and the beginning of the Republic mm -hmm. occurs. Uh, even at that point, uh, Ataturk, as the leader of the country, uh, saw this conflict between the traditional way and the modern way, which he aspired to for Turkey. And so it seems that this tension is built into the very beginnings of what we know as modern Turkey today. Yeah, the tension is built in, but it started before the Republic. Uh, the Ottoman also, I mean, uh, during the Ottoman Empire, the modernization started. That was in synonymous with westernization. So there were uh, different uh, movements of idea to save the empire at that moment, either through westernization or, on the contrary, with going back to traditions, always the question of where we draw the boundaries between uh, westernization and your own identity, that was the question. So nationalism, nationalism was a response to that, a kind of um, response to this uh, tension between uh, Ottoman Empire as a kind of multi-ethnic, multi-religious empire and the growing movement of modernization, westernization within the Ottoman Empire. So. Ottoman reformists already were in this movement of secularization and westernization and nationalism in a way. So Atatürk is a result of this long, I would say, engagement with westernization and secularization. In an ironical way, it's a kind of um, civilizational conversion. That is, we in the Turkey try to get rid of its Ottoman heritage and turn its face towards the West, in not only in terms of institutions like a nation-state building, a totally secular uh, understanding of the state and the public sphere, elimination of everything related with religion, like religious schools, religious education, but also symbols and everyday life, changing clothes and 
some of the leftist historians were considering Atatürk reforms as guardrobe reforms concerning clothes, you know. Changing your wardrobe as well as your politics. Exactly, but meaning that it's not so important, it's trivial, changing the wardrobe. Well, in today's politics, we understood how much the wardrobe is important and the clothes. So, you know, the, the symbol of the Fez, the symbol of Ottoman identity, although it goes back it's not that maybe Ottoman, maybe it's Greek originally, but nevertheless it became, it was the Ottoman identity. So before the veiling issue there was already the Fez issue, Ottoman Fez, and this was um, abolished as well as the Khalifa. So the things were not only at the state level, that's what I want to say, it was also concerned, it was also related with the everyday life. So secularism in Turkey meant women's rights and at the level of everyday life a kind of more westernized way of life uh, in just organizing both private family lives and uh, public life.